Well, I just wanted to start the week with you guys sharing this very special little car. Even after the many years of doing this job, I realise how privileged I am that cars like this still put a massive smile on my face. This car really did that. A little bit of this is because how often does one actually get to see an E21323i these days? They simply fell into the wrong hands, rotted away, got crashed, especially in the wet. I myself, as a young man, played a key part in making these cars rare. As a specialist BMW workshop, even we only see these first generation 3 series occasionally. I was only 10 years old when, the, when this 323i fell off the production line, but remember seeing E21s on the road in the late 70s, oh and the early 80s, as a schoolboy and thinking, wow, how modern they looked compared with the mountains of British cars on the road. But imagine seeing this, and even more so, imagine being the guy that actually got to own this car in 1982. He must have been the envy of all the early 80s car nuts. Not only is this car the sportiest version of the E21, being a 323i, it's also a very rare run-out model, commissioned by BMW UK and badged LE. That's for limited edition. The 323i was a remarkable package from BMW for the more enthusiastic driver. A fabulous straight-six engine, Bosch's K-Jetronic injection system, giving 143 brake horsepower, independent suspension all round, disc brakes all round, and a five-speed gearbox. The LE was spec with Recaro seats, sport steering wheel, 14-inch sport wheels, front and rear spoilers, and fantastic two-tone paintwork. We all know it's only badge engineering, but I don't care, it's cool. We are so lucky to have this LE in our workshop for some age-related preventive maintenance, and I'm so lucky to have driven her already. The sun was shining and I felt 25 years old again. It's just the most wonderful, sporty, nimble, usable classic car. But Despite being 37 years old, it's sporty enough to put a massive grin on any car nut's face. But for me, parking up, turning around and looking at those twin tailpipes and that two-tone paintwork made me spe step back in time and envy the first owner who was lucky enough to see this car in a showroom brand new. <laughs>